Oh, and hey, everybody, good to have you all here. Uh, it's exciting to see so many of you here on a Tuesday night, for those of you over in the, uh, the United States, or, um, hey, Sanjay, or a Wednesday for those there. There I am. Brilliant. Cool. Hey, everybody. Good to see you. So where's everyone uh, calling in from? Just while I wait for everyone else to jump in. Uh, be nice to hear from everyone. Um, hey, Ali. Hey, Evelina. Hey, Izzy. Jennifer. Kevin. Hey, Michelle. Sanjay. Dallas, Texas. Arizona. Nice. Idaho. Cool. Sydney. That's right, Sanjay. I know where you're from. All right. Let me just give a quick post in the group uh, so that everyone else can join. All right, starting now. We've got people all over the world. How good is technology, by the way, that we can be all over the world and go through this? Got some people from New Zealand, Florida. Uh, Ellie's in Mirambula in Australia. Cool. Hey, Carol, nice to see you from Michigan. Uh, hey, Kez. Hey, Lula, nice to see you. Hey, Jen. Cool. Hey, guys, just post in where you're from in the chat box. I'm here in the Gold Coast, Australia. Uh, I've got some dogs barking outside. It's a beautiful day here. So I'm in the future for quite a few of you. And uh, I'm here in the Gold Coast and got an absolute gorgeous day outside. Minnesota. So sorry about all of you over there. It's, uh, it's high 80s today and a uh, little bit of cloud cover. I know that a lot of you are in, uh, in winter. I know what it's like. I lived over there for uh, two years. I was, in, I was in warm places, though, because I spent about six months in Tahoe, actually. Um, which was relatively cold, but I was in Austin, Texas for, for about a year. And I was in uh, California for a couple of years, mainly in uh, San Diego, but a little bit up in Tahoe too. Nice. Oh, cool. Got it, Kez or Kerry from Melbourne. Yeah. 75 degrees in Arizona. Nice. <laughs> and 32 inches of snow over in Michigan. Hey, Lexi, nice to have you on as well. So guys, we're going to start in a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to ask what brought you here? Uh, I think most of you uh, saw my, uh, my YouTube video or you've seen a Facebook ad from me or, or something like that. Um, but I'll just, <laughs> I just love to, to ask, you know, just, you know, while, while you're here, uh, what what brought you along? Like, what's intrigued you to to learn this this work or to be a part of it? Um, <laughs> I invited you. Yes, I did. Uh, saw my ad while watching Joe Dispenza. He's an amazing human. Nice, nice. They were going through the uh, the magnetic mind uh, process. And specifically, I'm going to take you through a recode and we'll do a live demonstration, uh, which will be very, very, very cool. And hey, if you guys want to interact with other, other guests that are on here, just, just change your little box in the chat box to say it's going to, to all panelists and attendees. If you just want to have it go to me, uh, I'm going to be a little bit distracted, so I'm not going to be able to see them all. But if you just want it to go to me, uh, you can just click there and, and do all panelists. So that's that's me if you just want to send it to me. Yeah, right on, Izzy. Right, right, Carol, right. Hey, from New York. Hey, Molly, good to see you on. We had fun the other day. Nice. Hey, Shay, I see you on here. Hey, when, if you haven't said hello, say hello. This is live. You are here with me, and I'm very grateful to be sharing this. So, look, let's go a little bit into the agenda of, of what I have planned for us uh, for today, and so so that everyone understands. The first thing I want to do is I want to give you a bit of a history of, of where this process came from, and and where uh, my learning and my mentors and those sort of things uh, and everything where this came from. So, if it's okay with you, I'm going to start off with a little bit of a history and a and the journey. Uh, that I took to discover this and uncover this. Is that okay? Type in a yes if that's okay with you. I want to share the journey. I know there's a lot of people uh, interested in the science 
uh, and they want to know how it works. So, so I'm going to go through that. Then I'm going to take you through an experience and we are going to go through the experience of, of reducing resistance around something. So you will, you, we will have a closed eye experience and a meditation. Uh, so type in a, type in a capital E if you're up for the experience. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it'll be weird if you're the only one on the call without your eyes closed, not doing it. <laughs> so we will go through the experience. Um, you can work on a main area of life like money or financial abundance or health or um, relationship or a specific fear like fear of public speaking or anxiety. Um, we, we're going to choose choose what we want to work on and we can all work on different things. Okay. So that's going to be, that's going to be fun as well. And by the way, this is interactive. So please use the chat box. It's here. I'm going to just say hi in the chat box. And uh, look, if you just wanted to, to send the message to me, just tick all panelists. Uh, but if you want to interact with everyone else here, uh, then you can, because, because that's what it's all about here uh, in the tribe is, is interacting. So, so I'll go through the history, then we'll do an experience. And then if it's okay with everybody, I want to talk to you about our ongoing subscription service where you do a live recode up to three times a week. Uh, and we have a whole masterclass. We have a two day course. So is there anyone that's allergic to, to um, sales or uh, allergic to me letting you know about where you can move next? Cause if you are, we might have to recode your allergy to that so I can let you know. And the, the reason why I do want to, uh, talk to you about how you can move forward, meet me at a two day event, everything else. Uh, it's because a lot of you want it, right? So I just, I just trust that you're all big capable humans and that you can say yes, if you want to do it and you can say no, if you're totally fine. Does that, does that sound good? So those are the three things. Number one, I'll tell you the history of how this is here. <laughs> Number two, uh, we'll, we'll go through an experience. It's going to be great. And then for those who want to hear about, uh, attending, you know, some of our live events or, or being a part of the masterclass and, and getting a recode a couple times a week or, or the certification, then, then I'll talk about that as well. So shall we get started? Give me a big yes if you're happy with everything that we're going to go through. This is being recorded. Um, we have tons of these recordings though. So, you know, you can have this specific recording or, you know, in, in the masterclass and I think in, in you guys' programs, I've given most of you at least three or four one-hour sessions. Um, that you can go through, and uh, we've got we've got hundreds. We do two or three a week. Um, we do two or three a week, so we've got we've got a few. Hey, we've got a few. All right, awesome. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let me just share some slides so that uh, we can go through this and have some fun. All right, so so I guess you guys understand how to use the chat box and those sort of things. Can you? Can you see my slides? Um, someone just let me know uh, if you can. Oops, now I've lost the chat box. What's going on here? Hmm. Could you see my slides then? Yeah, you could. Um, all right, I think I have to, I think I have to just keep it like this. Um, so that I can see your chat box. Um, you're typing in the chat box, uh, Michelle. All right, cool. So let's see if I can increase that a bit for you all so you can see that, um, which will work. That will work fine. All right, cool. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to magically manifest your dreams and specifically this process. So do we all agree that your reality is what you believe is possible? right? Like what you have in your life is just what you believe impossible. Is that, is that true? But the thing that we've got to ask ourselves is, you know, well, what is, what is really, really, really possible? Um, you know, see Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile. Uh, and, and for, for centuries, the four minute mile was something that couldn't be broken. Do you know, do you know what just got broken last month? A, a marathon, I think it was like, who knows what the marathon time that just got broken, never been broken. Was it a two hour marathon or something like that? Uh, something amazing just happened or a one hour marathon. I don't know what it was, but, but someone just broke it. It was completely impossible. And now it's been broken. Okay. And so the, the truth is, is just because something hasn't been done yet has no relevance to whether or not it can be done. True. Rosa Parks sent in front of the bus. Susan Anthony said women should vote. 
Lincoln stopped slavery. Mandela stopped apartheid. He said that shouldn't rule. Gandhi stopped the British rule in India. And the truth is, is just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. Beethoven composed five of his best symphonies when he was deaf. Stephen Hawking was paralyzed, couldn't speak, married twice. And so what's really interesting, and is this, is, is this interesting to you guys, by the way, that nothing's really impossible, right? Nothing's really impossible. It's just that we limit ourselves, true? We just limit ourselves. In fact, you know, we can transplant a heart. A hundred years ago, that would have been never possible. Right, we can fly around in, in powered aircraft. By the way, it was so funny. I was flying recently, and I saw a, a child being upset because his Wi-Fi wasn't connecting when we were flying across the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> and I thought, wow, that's so cool. That that's something you could be upset about. You know, we're in this place where we've got so much. And so here's the truth, guys: is that nothing is really impossible. True. And so why do we not have exactly what we want, right? If nothing is impossible, why do we not have what we want? And, and the truth is, is that the people that have created success have had to overcome their past, okay? So everyone knows who JK Rowling is. She, she wrote Harry Potter, right? But they said that it was completely impossible. Einstein didn't speak till he was four years old. He had to overcome his past. Jim Carrey, who's seen the, the video of Jim Carrey holding up the, the $10 million check that he wrote to himself and then he got paid exactly that. Steven Spielberg was rejected from University of Southern California twice. And so the truth is, is that we have to overcome our past. All right, Jay-Z just became a billionaire. So here's how you know that today is for you. You're an aspirational person that can't understand why you have not fully created the life you desire and you're willing to do whatever it takes. Who am I talking to right now? Is this, is this for you? Give me a yes if this is for you. Because look, all of those people, they've just had to overcome their past, right? That's it. And, and in order to overcome their past, they had to do some things. And so, look, my goal today is to show you the science and techniques you must understand to change your attraction point and the exact 12-month process you must go through to master the skills of manifestation without struggle. Does it sound good? Good. So I really freaking appreciate you all. And uh, I'm sure you get that through my videos and through the group and everything else. Uh, and today I'm going to take you through the five steps and give you an opportunity to work with me for 12 months and to really master this so that you can overcome who you are. So a little bit about me. Uh, a lot of you don't know much about me. I built my digital marketing company to over 5 million in revenue and I'm a first generation millionaire, meaning I'm the first one in my family to cross that line. And I'm very proud of that. Very proud of, of what I'm able to do for my family. Very proud to be the first one. So what I'm trying to say is I grew up working class. Did anyone else grow up working class? I grew up working class. I'm working class. And, and I was able to overcome that. I've written two best-selling books, spoken to live audiences of over 140,000 people now. And I was featured in a movie with my two heroes, Tony Robbins and the Dalai Lama. I'm lucky enough to have married the love of my life. And uh, that should probably go at the top. I've lived and worked from dozens of countries and I get to call paradise home here in the Gold Coast. It's actually called Surfers Paradise. For those of you who don't know Australia, it's actually paradise. And I get to live a life of freedom. True, truth for me though, is it wasn't always this way, right? Uh, I grew up following society's rules, went to uni, got a good job. That was me. Feel free to type in the chat box and laugh at my orange dreadlocks. <laughs> totally fine. That was me, right? That's where I was when uh, I was trying to start figuring this out, you know, 13 years ago. That was me, Molly. I know. We all start somewhere and most of you are ahead of me. <laughs> that was where I started out. That's real here. I know I look like a pirate, but it's actually my yeah, so I always knew there was more. Is there anyone else that always knew that there must be more out there? I started reading books, going to seminars, and started my real education. And I decided that I wanted to create the dream life. And results were really slow for me. 
Like I felt like I was battling myself. Have you ever felt that? So that's where I started. I was battling myself. And so I just went and got certified. I got this one belief and um, the belief was there must be something in my mindset that's stopping me be successful. And I read Think and Grow Rich and I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And, and I read these books about, you know, amazing athletes. And one thing kept on saying to me was, it's all in here. You create your reality. So I went to all of these things and I couldn't fit them on the page. That was as many bullet points as my, uh, my editor would let me have. But, I, but you name it, I did it. And results came, but it was a war. And, and everywhere I looked, I'd see other people winning. But, so I just kept applying myself, right? And then my life changed, okay? Uh, my life changed. This, this was my best friend. His name was Mark Deason. And uh, on the 3rd of March, 2016, I was running a seminar um, in Anaheim, California, just two blocks over from, from Disneyland. And I get a phone call, you know, that I, I got told I had to take. And I was told that, uh, unfortunately, he'd been killed in a motorcycle accident. And, you know, Deese was my best friend. Um, he was my best friend. There's, there's us hanging out in Bali and us shooting videos together. And here's our last photo. He, he's the one in the box. But he was also my business partner. We'd built a four and a half million dollar company. And uh, when he was killed, he got killed in a motorcycle accident, by the way, uh, in Bali in Indonesia. Um, and, and anyway, so, so he died and I lost, I lost my whole fortune. I lost my business. I lost my best friend. I lost my confidence, um, but I didn't lose my determination. So I want to let you know if you've ever lost before, me too. Uh, I kind of felt like everything got ripped away. I had 48 staff that I had to pay without a business partner, without access to all sorts of things. And it was tough, hey. But to me, failure is never an option. Who else gets this? I was pissed off, annoyed, frustrated, and upset, and I went back to work. Failure just wasn't an option to me. I couldn't not pay my staff. I couldn't let myself down. I couldn't be that person. Is that true for you? You've had things go wrong. And then, it happened again. I moved to Austin, Texas. I built a company. Within one year, I built it back to $2 million. And then boom, I lost it all. I lost it all. So in a space of 18 months, I'd gone from a successful guy traveling the world, doing all these things, lost it all, built it, lost it. And I couldn't believe it. It was like I could never hold on to the success, hey? And I was so frustrated. I thought the whole thing was a joke. I couldn't believe that I'd done all this work, invested a decade of my life, you know, doing it right, hustling, spoken on the big stages. Written the, how could I be back with nothing? I couldn't believe it. So I asked this question and I want you to ask it. Why, with all the books, the strategies and courses, why are people still not successful? If all these courses worked, why wasn't everyone where they wanted to be? And why wasn't I? It's not like I hadn't hustled. It wasn't like I hadn't tried. It wasn't like I was willing to be co not be coached. It wasn't like I wasn't willing to invest in myself. Who agrees with this? It's not like I wasn't doing what was said. I did everything I was said, everything I was told, I, all of it, you know? And, and I was really frustrated and I realized that something was missing. And I just need you to accept this. No, no matter how long your search has been, no, no matter how long your search has been, you must, you must realize that something is missing. True? Because what other option is there? There must be something missing, even with all the work you've done. Where's everyone at? Type in a true if that's true for you. It has to be true. And so type in a true. We got thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, Carol. Awesome. Thanks, Lulu. Thanks, Ali. Thanks, Wen. Thank you. Awesome. Good to see you. got some people out there. So what I had to realize is that I was creating it somehow. And it's sad, but I had to realize that this is my creation. So I started to ask myself, why would I choose to create 
keep on getting the success and then losing it, getting it and losing it. Why would I choose to create this? And through this, I met a billionaire and I got invited to speak to the 12 richest families in Austin, Texas. And, and those of you not from the United States, Texas has a little bit of money. <laughs> and so the 12 richest families, there's, there's a lot of, uh, dollars and cents sitting in front of me. And so, so I was able to, to pitch, it was a small room and, uh, and I shared my story and I'll never forget when the self-made billionaire looked me right in the eyes and he said to me, he goes, Chris, it's all vibration, thinking and manifestation. And he says these words and I just say them to you with total love. He goes, but the real key is identity. He said, Chris, you're like me. You grew up working class. You have an identity of a struggler, a battler, someone who's moving towards something. He said, you don't have the identity of having it. He said, Chris, you must be it before you see it. He goes, you must be it before you see it. I said, what does that mean? I must be it before I see it. He goes, your identity is of someone who doesn't have wealth, who doesn't have success. So every time you get it, you're violating who you are. You're violating who you are. This is what you've told your body and your brain for 30 something years. So every time you get it, it feels unsafe and uncomfortable. So your unconscious facility is going to sabotage this to get you back to the way it's always been, but not just for you, but for past generations. He said, Chris, that's the key. Type in a yes if you're getting it. That's the key. He says, it's your identity. And then he looks at me and he goes, and every time you try to fix yourself, you're just reinforcing that you're broken. He said, every time you go to a healing, every time you go to a course, every time you read a book, you're reinforcing that you're broken. He said, he said you must be it. I said, well, how? That's the answer that you'll learn today. How? How is it true that the seed of the tree is already the tree, but you can't see it? How is it true that if I hold up a little seed, it's not just a tree, it's a forest, but you can't see it? So you can be it before you see it. It's everywhere in nature. You grow into it but you're still it. You're still it, hey. That's what, that's what this is all about. This is about becoming it and then holding the tension until the universe reflects who you are. But not who you are consciously, who you are on all levels of consciousness. You see? That's what this is about. That's what we're here to do. And I'm really excited. By the way, who's excited about this? Who's excited about this? And so who's excited? Where are you guys at? Have, I, have you guys learned something today already? Today you're gonna to find that answer. So I realized everything I was doing was reinforcing that I was not it. I must become it now. I was out of emotional alignment with what I wanted. See, I was out of emotional alignment. Here's where I was over here in my current reality. And I wanted to have this vision. And here I felt scarcity. And what I wanted was freedom. Here I felt lack. Here I felt doubt. What I wanted was abundance and confidence. This guy was not this guy. This guy in the current reality was not the guy that had this vision. Does this make sense, everyone? See, you can't plant seeds of scarcity. You cannot plant seeds of scarcity and grow a freedom tree. You cannot plant seeds of lack and grow an abundance tree. You cannot plant seeds of doubt and grow a confidence tree. The screen is black. You guys can't see my screen. 
Paddy says, oh, sorry, Paddy, it's just you. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, it's back. I don't know what happened. I don't think anyone else lost it. So I'm glad you're back. And so I realized I was out of emotional alignment. And I realized that everything that stops me is in the unconscious. I hadn't found it. I was stuck in a sabotage pattern with my desire. I was stuck in a sabotage pattern with my desire. And what I mean by that, I want you to imagine a rubber band. It felt like I had this desire. Let me, let me show it to you. I had this desire. Let's say that this desire is to, to make more money, right? And here I am here and I didn't have the money. So inside this reality was this desire to be there. But this is my identity. This is who I am. This is who I am. This is who I was. So what would happen is I would get over here and I'd start to experience this. But this was in violation of this identity. So then the identity would pull me back to here. And I would move one step forward, one step back. One step forward, one step back, because this was safety. This was safety. This was something new. This is what my body knew. My body wanted to stay here, stay in this identity. And part of this identity was thinking that money would make things different. So I was just in this cycle. Who's felt this cycle? We call it oscillation. One step forward, one step back. One step forward, one step back. You make a bit of money, you lose the money. You, you, you move forward with, it, with your health, you go back. You see this in diets, relationships purpose in life. We just do this because the goal violates who you are. The goal violates with who you are. So I was, I was stuck in a sabotage pattern with, with what I desired. And that's what the recode is, is so important, right? It, because you'll never, ever, ever see it until you be it because the goal violates your identity. I was so frustrated, but I was so happy to finally get it. See, the personal development world is broken, and you heard it from me first. Here's why the personal development world is broken. They're trying to make you fix yourself. But let me ask you, if you go around trying to fix yourself, what identity do you create? That you need fixing, that you're broken, that you need another strategy or another course. So that becomes your identity, and you just go to course after course after course after course, and you think, why have I gone to all these courses and I still haven't got anywhere? Oh, my new identity is I'm broken and I have to go to the next healer and to the, to the next course. And now, oh, wow, I've got to get a trip to Peru and do ayahuasca. Oh, I've got to get the, the kato. I've got to do hopowono. I've got to, you know, go vegetarian. I've got to get hypnosis. I've got to do past life regressions. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to. True? And so it becomes a new identity. There's search trying to fix ourselves. And so here's the big difference. We don't try to fix here. I'm going to show you a very distinct way that we do it. We choose what we're creating and then we let go of who we've been that's blocking that. It's very different than trying to fix yourself. We're choosing to create an outcome and then we're feeling into resistance of what's stopping that outcome and we're letting it go. We're letting it go and we're recoding it on a super conscious level so you can take the action. Who gets that, by the way? Type in a yes if you get that. Do you get that? We're choosing to create and then letting go. I'm going to show you how to let go and recode so that you can move forward fast. This is the key. This is the key. I'm glad you're getting it, Kevin Harvey. So the first answer, I've got Kevin, one of my, uh, my certified coaches on here. He, I said, hey, you get this? He says, yes. And I went, <laughs> love you, man. <laughs> we, we run a certification and when we certify people in this work and, and one of our coaches is on the call. So the, the first answer is that you can change. All right. Write this down. You can change. The study of epigenetics and neuroscience tells us that you can. And I've got this brain video. Why didn't that play? Let me just grab this video. I want to show you, um, is it called brain cell? Here we go. I'm just opening up a quick video. Hey guys, uh, are you enjoying today's session so far? 
Is this good stuff? Are you getting it? Because I want you to understand the history before we get into doing it. Because if you think that this is about fixing you, if you come in with that intention, this just becomes another one of those courses and increases your shelf development, right? You just end up with this shelf that's developed with all these books and courses, but you don't create what you want. That's all right, Ash. There's a recording. Uh, we've covered we've covered a lot. Um, maybe you'll catch that, or maybe you'll, you'll jump on the next one. But I'm glad to have you here as well. So this is this is a video of brain cells recoding. Okay, and what you're seeing here, okay, is how we think in energy form slowed right down. And this is a recode. This is what happens. This is a new connection being created in the brain. This is an aha moment, okay? Look at this. This is a new connection. So when I say that you can change, and when I say you can recode, I actually mean it, I actually mean it in a physiological state and level. It's actually rewiring and recoding your brain. That is a brain. Hey, Mark, I'll show you in the, in the, in the course, we've got it all in there for you. Good to see you though, man. I think Hannah answered your question. So it's very, very, very cool to know just the level that we're playing at here, you know? And so you can recode, it can change. Now the problem was, I was doing all these epigenetics and neuroscience and I was told that I had to sit in meditation for two hours a day. Absolutely, absolutely, Molly. We'll work on it today. And I would sit in and, and they would tell me, hey, Chris, yeah, you can do this, but you've got to teach your body how to recode and rewire and nerve cells that wire together, fire together, but you have to sit for an hour and a half meditation every day to do it. And look, I just said, hey, I don't, I don't really love that, right? I don't love that. I don't want my life to be that. If I have to do an hour and a half meditation a day, well, gee, that's 10 hours a week. You know, that's a lot of my life. So I wanted something faster. I wanted something faster. And so the second answer, it was this amazing woman, one of my best friends on the planet. I was talking to her this morning. She was in psychotherapy for 25 years. And she showed me uh, one, of the, one of the pieces that, that we have in our program. Amazing lady. And uh, so she showed me how to rewire my brain in an instant by tapping into the superconscious. And it's based off Dr. Gary Flint's work. Okay, and I want to honor that man and his amazing book and what he did. He spent 30 years realizing, and, and I'll explain this to you. He realized that all of our beliefs come from a memory. Okay. And, and these memories. Come from three different aspects of our consciousness. So we have the superconscious. We have the unconscious. And we have the self-conscious. And all of these aspects come down to create belief. And the belief creates our reality. Now, most of us... Uh, we get that our belief creates reality, but we work on our self-conscious, right? Our self-conscious started developing at seven years old. Or we work on our unconscious, which developed at four years old. But very, very few people tap into the superconscious, which has always been there. It's always been, it's connected to your family, and it will continue forever. It's infinite. The superconscious is what we tap into. We tap into the memory that turned one cell into two cells and two cells into four and four into eight and, and knew how to create a beating heart. That part of you, the part of you that's connected to your family's family, seven generations deep DNA programming. We connect to that part of you, that memory. Now that memory was there before you learned to speak English or any other language. It was there before you learned to walk. It is there for you. And we can speak to it in English because you understand English. So I'm able to connect to that part of you 
that pattern and we're able to recode right back at the beginning, which changes the belief, which changes reality. It's a big, big deal. It's a big deal. We go deep, we go back there. And so, so how, how, how I want you to understand this is we have three memories. Memory number one is super conscious. Someone type this in. Memory number one is super conscious memory. It's always been there. Memory number two is unconscious memory. It started when you became a human, zero to four and really developed by seven. That's memory number two. Unconscious memory is memory number two. Self-conscious started at about five or six or seven and has gone through to now when you became self-conscious. So those are the three memories. Thanks for typing it in. Unconscious, superconscious, self-conscious. And so, so what's really interesting here, okay, is that our memories form our beliefs which create our behavior, but we don't have conscious memory of all of the beliefs that make all the difference. We have all these dormant, all these dormant memories. Let me prove it to you. You have dormant memories sitting there right now. And what we do is we pull these dormant memories out and these dormant memories tell us how to live our life. See, I haven't asked you about a dormant memory yet, so you haven't brought it forward. But if I ask you, when was the last time you rode your bicycle? You're searching dormant memories and going, gee, can't remember the 50s, Chris. <laughs> I can't remember 19. Yes, see, you go into your memory and you're pulling out a dormant memory. You see, but it wasn't there before because it was not needed for your conscious facility. So what if I told you that most of your identity programming, most of your identity programming, you have amnesia with. You have amnesia, meaning you don't remember. You don't remember when you learned how to be a part of your family. Is it true? You don't remember when you truly learned how to walk. You don't remember when you learned what was right and what was wrong. You don't remember the first time you saw your parents arguing about money. You don't remember. You don't remember. You don't remember. True? But you do at a super conscious level. You just don't remember it self-consciously. Does that make sense? Because the self-conscious part of you, the part that's thinking, only started developing years later in life. All your formative years, you don't have conscious memory of. It's just not there. Who's with me, by the way? Who's taking lots of notes? Sometimes I ask questions and people are like, oh, Chris, I'd like to respond, but I was typing, I was writing notes. Hey, Cara from Canada. So many notes. Thanks, Mark. Love you guys. I'm passionate about this. And so what happens is, is most of us are unconsciously creating our reality. Because we don't even know or have any connection to the memories that are actually telling us how to behave. Who agrees with that, by the way? You look out there in life, you see someone getting triggered like this. You see people getting mad. You see people creating, creating. who's ever seen someone uh, get in a relationship with literally the same person after they just had a divorce of basically the exact same person and they're unconsciously attracted, they're unconsciously the same thing happens in business. See, I want to tell you, all those losses in business, it came down to one pattern. I was unconsciously giving my power away to a older masculine figure. Mark Deason, who died, was 15 years older than me. And so when he died, my business died. The next thing is I gave my power away to another guy that was a business part. That's why the next one lost. Every time I had an unconscious pattern because I, I had a pattern, I had something I had to recode where I was unconsciously giving my power away to my father. And that's what kept showing up. But I had no recollection of that. And anyway, we've got a list of these patterns. In our, in our masterclass, we go through all the different patterns and we help you to see them. But that was just what was true for me. No level of hypnosis or conscious thought could ever have seen that pattern that was sitting there. I was unconsciously creating. And here at Magnetic Mind, we want you to become a conscious creator, meaning we want to clear up your unconscious wounds. And we always say when pain 
is removed from your memory, it turns to wisdom. Patty just, just wrote in, how did you realize the pattern? Hold your horses a second. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's through this process. <laughs> Thanks, Car. Hey, guys, I'm loving the group vibe here. So thanks for typing in and being a part of it. So when we do the recode, what I'm going to do with you is we're going to bring forward some of your resistances, okay? And your resistances are just things you've created to stay safe. Someone type that in. Resistance is just a belief I've created to stay safe. Where When we remove the pain from memory... The pain turns to wisdom, Molly. Yeah. Resistance is just a belief we have created to stay safe. Carrie, it's important that you understand that you created it to stay safe. You created it. All of it is created. A fear of public speaking. Uh, you know, actually, uh, I've got Mark. Mark, how are you feeling after our recode? A, a health thingy. We can create something in our health to stop us moving forward. We can, we can create, we can create anything to keep us safe, right? That's awesome to hear, Mark. Awesome to hear. <laughs> I love the auto correct, bro. I get it. Testic. <laughs> so it's awesome. <laughs> there it is. So it's awesome. So what we do, okay, is we bring all the resistance out and you'll hear me say these words in a second because we're about to do the demo and, uh, or the experience. And I'll say, can you please bring out the resistance into the active experience? I want you to imagine that the active experience is like the playing field, okay, like a football field or a soccer field. And I want you to imagine that the resistance are like those little gophers, those little animals that dig and, and, and they pop out in front of you and your super conscious part of you is going to remember the exact order that all the gophers popped out in and then they're going to run away when i do the commands and all we're going to do with the super conscious is we're going to smooth the dirt back into the playing field so you can play again without any bumps or without any any surprises so you can just have what you want and so the the process is really gentle and because it's non-conscious, okay, because it's unconscious and super conscious, you don't have to remember anything, okay? So when you go through the experience, you'll just feel what it's like. Hey, Kara or Mark or others, can you just untick all panelists? And can you just let people know, Molly or others, whoever's had a session, can you just type in the chat box what it was like when you had your first session? Just make sure that everyone can see it though. Maybe Kevin as well. Um, and anyone else who I haven't seen who's already had a session, uh, just, just type in what it's like. And you don't have to do anything. You just got to stay present, uh, present to, to my commands and, and let me go through it and just let me go through it. So it's, it's very, very easy and very cool. But the key thing to understand is that, um, you know, you created everything. So we're, we're about to get into the into the experience um i've covered everything on that slide so the last piece okay so you know colette was the last piece the last one was william uh, william white cloud is an amazing alchemist who shared with me how to create structural tension and actually how to make sure that we're not here just trying to fix ourselves okay and i really want you to get this because it's a very important part of my work we don't fix ourselves. We, we do something very different. And it wasn't until I went and studied with William that I understood this, which was what do I choose to create? And then what's in the way? And then we move towards what we're creating. The amount of people that I've seen at events, they go there and the instructor says, okay, I need you to go and find some problems with yourself. Thanks. Thanks, Kerry. I need you to find some problems with yourself. And all you do is you then search what the fuck's wrong with me, right? And gee, we could all create a laundry list of ways we're not perfect, but it creates a new identity that says, I must fix myself to have what we want. Now, I want to be very, very clear with you. Write this down. You don't have to be perfect 
to have what you want. You don't have to fix yourself to have what you want. You don't have to be good enough to have what you want. You don't have to be deserving enough to have what you want. You don't have to do any of that. You just have to have no resistance to what you want. You just have to have no resistance to what you want. Now, Americans know this because there's a guy that's running your country and he doesn't try to be perfect. He just goes for what he wants. I went and looked at all these billionaires. I looked at successful athletes and it was such a big difference compared to what I was told in personal development conferences. Personal development conferences, they said, you gotta do all this work on yourself and then you can have what you want. And then I'd sit with billionaires, they were overweight. Warren Buffett has McDonald's every single day. That ain't vegan. How's he in the right vibration to have what he wants, right? Bill, Bill Gates, I mean, what? Bill Gates was, he's, he's an, he wasn't nice to his employees. They were going for what they want and had no resistance to it. Can you see the difference, right? They had relationship problems. They had, they had self-worth problems. Heck, I've seen billionaires, we all know billionaires who have self-esteem problems. We even know people who can get the most important job in a country that behave like children. We've got all sorts of things that, that, that can happen. Who's with me? Type in a yes if you're with me. See, the, the point isn't trying to fix ourselves. This is what I learned from William, and this is why we must understand. We choose what we create and get rid of the identity that's stopping it. We choose what we want to create, remove the identity that's stopping it, and take the action. The amount of times I get on Facebook and I see someone saying, oh, you're not in the right vibration to have what you want. So you need to spend all this time to get in the right vibration. And I'm like, didn't you just want to make more sales? Just go make more phone calls instead of wasting all this time getting in the right vibration. True. True. It was hugely, it was huge when I learned this stuff. Give me a yes. See who's with me. Let me see who's here. I'm cracking you up. You're there. Who's getting this? Because it's different. It's very, very, very different. And I want to make sure you guys get it because you do not go to fix yourself. If you go fix yourself, you're just going to become someone that needs to be fixed and saved. And you have a premise that says one day, I will be fixed enough that I can finally have what I want. No, just go for what you want. Get rid of the resistance. You just go for what you want. Just go for what you want. Love you guys. I know truth is perfect, but this is the missing piece. This is the missing piece. Yes, I know. I never met a billionaire that said that they sat on top of a mountain waiting for it all to show up. And even those that say that, they still put on seminars and take action. They, they know the truth. They're just not explaining it well. The truth is you just get rid of, you choose what you want, you, you get rid of resistance and you go for it. You go for it. So th that's why our stuff's so different. It's why it works. You must be in the future feeling of what you want. You must be in that feeling now. The magnetic moment is also referred to as the wizard's gate. It's when you're there already and you're just going for what you want. See, the seed, the seed is already the forest. The seed is already the forest. It's just going for what, it's want, what it wants. In the wizard's gate, it's already the forest. It's already the tree, but you can't see it. See, you are already what it is that you're turning into. You're just waiting for this time, this measurement to move until you get it. So, oops, I went back. So look, I stepped into the emotion. I understood alchemy. I applied myself for it. two years in that. I spent two years working on removing my identity and boom, I created a $5 million company in two years. I moved to paradise and married the love of my life. And here's the five steps we're about to go through. Who's excited? Step number one, we choose what we're going to create. Step number two, we step into that emotion. Step number three, we create a tension that seeks release structure. Number four, we unplug from the old identity. And five, we take aligned action. And these are the five steps that we go through in Magnetic Mind, at the course, and in the program. So 
Let's go through this. Who's up for a little bit of a demonstration and an experience? Who's ready to go? Let's do it. Okay. The first question is, what would you like to create? Because we're not trying to fix ourselves. We're trying to remove resistance about what we want to create. So what would you choose to create? Type it in. Write it down. If you're writing it down, just give me a yes or do the little hand up thing so I know you've done it. What would you like to create? Financial abundance, money. What would you like to create? Financial freedom, a health coaching business. Wen says, yes, he's done it. Either give me a yes, a hand up, or write it in. Boom, Mark. Love it. Awesome. Okay. Right on, Ash. Great. Great. Love it. Yeah, I think Molly, it's like uh, work that you love or something like that. Yeah. Start your own business. Yeah. So make sure you go to the end result. Yeah. Like successful business, a life I love. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Welcome to those people that have joined late. Uh, you, you're going to be better served listening to the recording. And if you're here, let's just go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. So, so I want you just for a second is to, to tune into how it feels if you had that now. Just for a second, close your eyes and ask yourself, what would it feel like if I had that? Hmm. Okay, so this is the first thing we always do. We always create point B, which is your end result that you're wanting to create. Now we go back to point A, okay? So compared to that end result, compared to that end result, where are you now in life? Compared to that end result, where are you now? So what have you got in life right now? Either given a yes, just type in a yes if you don't want to type it in. Financial abundance, Chris, right now I'm broke. I don't want to type it in. Whatever it is you want to type in. No, give me either a yes so I know you're done uh, or type it in. Where are you now? Okay, so these are the two points of manifestation, okay? And so I want to ask, how does it feel now, okay? So just tune into how it feels now if you've already done it. So just close your eyes and tune into it, okay? How does it feel now? Just notice if it's, if it's different or the same or whatever. And so let me ask you, how many of you, it's different how it feels now than how it feels having what you want? Type in a yes if it's different. To look at all those yeses coming in. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. So to the extent that it's different, to the extent that it's different, that's the extent of the work you need to do to be in the identity of the end result. Does this make sense? That's the work. You must be feeling it now. So let's get into this. Let's figure out what's in the way. So firstly, and I want you just to write this down on paper, pull up a word, uh, a, a notepad, or just type it in the chat box if that works as well, okay? What judgments do you have about yourself in relationship to this goal? How do you judge yourself in relationship to this goal? I'm not good enough. Uh, I need to do this. Uh, I don't know enough. I've tried and failed before. I don't deserve it. What judgments do you have about yourself in relationship to this goal? Write those down. Cool. 
Cool. Cool. So second question is, how do you judge the goal? So the goal, like you judge it, like, oh, I want financial freedom, but people that have financially free, uh, you know, it's bad or it's greedy to have that much money. Um, I want to be a speaker, but speakers get mocked. Uh, I want to have lots more energy in my life, but having lots of energy, you know, like, what will I use it for? Like, how do you judge the goal? How do you judge the outcome of what you want? It takes too much time and effort. Yeah, I don't even know if I really want it. It's not enough. It's too much. It's too big. It's too small. I'll lose my friends if I have that. Uh, I'll be overwhelmed. I'll be overwhelmed if I have that. I couldn't possibly do that and everything else. I don't know how to do it. It seems really difficult. It seems hard. It seems, I don't know anyone that's done it. I can't do it alone. Yeah, everything I'm saying. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. I, I, I mean, you're outsourcing your resistance to me. So, how are you defining yourself compared to this goal? Like, how do you define yourself? Like, what definition do you create for you against this goal? Like, I, I have to be, I have to be better. I have to learn more. I, I don't have enough. I don't have enough experience. Yeah. Cool. What emotions block this goal? Is there fear? Is there worry? Is there anxiety? Is there doubt? Awesome. And is there anything else that's causing resistance? You know, like, uh, is there an internal conflict? I'd really like this goal, but... Is there an internal conflict? I really like this goal, but. And what I want you to do is after you've written out all of these different things that I'm asking you, I want you to put a circle around everything. Okay. Yeah. How does your family feel about this goal? And I want you to rate your resistance out of 10. 10 meaning there's loads of resistance, like you've got a concrete block around your leg. Uh, you've got a ball and chain. You pretty much can't go there. That's a 10. Zero is I'm already there. It's easy. It's done. So where are you out of 10? Carrie's an eight. Evelina's a seven, seven, eight, eight, five, eight, seven, five, six, nine, six, seven, ten. Cool. So before we do the session, everyone needs to have written in a number because that's going to be our measuring stick, okay? So I want you to appreciate that you've created this resistance to keep yourself safe from something. You've created this resistance to keep yourself safe. This is yours and you created it. True. So we're going to go through this process now and we're going to reduce that resistance down to zero. It's a closed eye process and you don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is give me permission to connect to your superconscious. So is it okay that I connect to your superconscious and provide it commands for treatment? so that we can release these patterns and you can have more satisfaction because you don't know how to talk to your superconscious yet. Cool. Thank you. So if I've got permission, we're going to go into this and I want you just to close your eyes and settle in for a second. And it's just going to take me a minute or so to get, well, Take me a little while just to connect into everyone's super conscious. We have over a hundred of you on the call. So if it's okay, just connect into yourself, close your eyes and sit back 
and just take a couple breaths and just, just relax and give me a second. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Just all you got to do is listen to my commands. I'll tell you when to open your eyes and come back to me. So just keeping your eyes closed and just have some nice gentle breaths and I'll start the commands now. Superconsciously there. Superconscious, could you please bring up the resistance in relationship to this choice? Yes. Superconscious, please treat all emotions in relationship to this, including the emotions of stress. Superconscious, please treat and do a massive change history, all emotions, especially those relating to stress. Thank you. You don't have to do anything. Just notice what you notice, stay present. Notice how your body feels as we go through the commands. Superconscious, do you see the fear of being seen? Yes, please treat the massive change history on the fear of being seen, standing out. Please treat the massive change history and everything after that. Superconscious, please treat thought structures. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. I have to be something better. I'm not enough. Please treat all thought structures relationship to this choice. Please treat to a massive change history and everything. Thank you. Superconscious, I want to treat the physiology, especially the heart and chest areas of everyone on this call. Please treat the heart and chest areas and their physiology, including all chakra points and energy systems, Chinese meridians, and everything related to this choice. Please treat and do a massive change history and everything. I need everyone just take a few big breaths in through their heart. Just whatever you choose to do in through your nose, out through your mouth, just a few big breaths. Just let that settle through. Superconscious, I want to look at the thought structures of deserving in relationship to this. Please go back to the original event of deserving. When there's something that I had to be or do or have, please go back to the original event in relationship to deserving this choice. And please treat, know that when you treat an emotion, the pain turns to wisdom. Please treat to a massive change history, including including the emotion of sadness. Thank you. And just let that come through. This is a big one for a few of you. Just, just let that come through.
there's a lot happening in the field. So just keep breathing into this. It's totally fine. It's all just processing down for you. Just imagine an ice cream or a, a, an ice block on like a, you know, a really, really hot summer's day. Just imagine it and just imagine it melting and letting it all go. Super conscious, the belief that I can change, please treat all resistance to the belief I can change, I will change, I have changed, I am changed. Please treat to a massive change history around that. And just keep imagining that, that melting. All right, I'm just going to check in with everyone. Um, so if you could just uh, open your eyes, even if you're processing and just type in your first number and then ask yourself, where is my resistance now? And type in your second number in the same thing. So just so I can see the shift. 10 to six, beautiful. 10 to two, beautiful. Six to one, 10 to four, seven to three, eight to five. Where were you before, Lulu? Five to one, eight to four, eight to one, seven to three. Nice. Cool. We're at the, hey, Kate, we're at the halfway point here. So, so it's good. So everyone's, everyone's getting it. It's super easy. It's very gentle. Okay, and we've got some shifting to, to come for you. That's all good. Awesome. So now, now you kind of, wow, Pamela's down to zero. Well done. Well done. So we'll go in for a second, a second shift. Now, now the brain and the super conscious, we're all trained. We're all good. And so look, let's all just choose to have our resistance go to zero, you know, and let's choose to have everything come up. We're going to do the big ones now. So if you're ready and it's fine for me to connect with your super conscious, just, just close your eyes again and go back into this. Brilliant. Super conscious, do you see this resistance in, in this, yeah, towards this choice? Yes. I'd like you to bring out all the part personalities and identities that are blocking this choice. Or would you like you bring them all out, super conscious, and ask if they'd like treatment? Notice the ones that would like treatment, and please treat into a massive change history and everything on part personalities, like the pleaser, the protective controller, the inner child, the lover, the business person, the confident person, the shy, the doubtful one, the hurt teenager. Please bring out all part personalities, all identities that are blocking this choice, and please treat into a massive change history and everything after that. Superconscious, there are some stubborn part personalities and identities here. Yeah. Please let those part personalities that treatment is non-negotiable. We care for them and love them and we prefer for them to be treated and to feel good. We really, really value their input and we want all of their pain to turn to wisdom. There is no need to keep the pain. We prefer you to exchange information with the main personality so that we can create better choices in the future. This is coming from the super conscious treatment is for you and it is now time to take the treatment. So all parts needing treatment are now required to take the treatment and have a massive change history and everything after that. Thank you. Wow. Some, someone's field just opened up.
super conscious if there's any resistance left over between zero and where we are now please treat it in the perfect way in the perfect order everything is treatable beliefs thoughts events timelines past experiences family history broken promises secondary intentions and all aspects of consciousness super conscious please treat all resistance to this choice we'd prefer to have no resistance and be able to take this choice into our active experience with ease please treat and do a massive change history and everything after that thank you There you go. And it's just sliding off you, just sliding off the back. That's brilliant. Hmm. Oh, it's so good. A lot of you have some very happy, happy fields right now. It's making me smile. Super conscious, please ground all the memories we've touched today and strengthen them with positive memories, including memories one, two, and three, tandem memories, future memories, ego states, all aspects of consciousness. Please ground those memories into the matrix of the universe and please tag and treat all aspects that need treatment for the next session. And audience, please take two or three breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and, and come back. Mark's down to zero, I'm vibing. I'd love you to type in your first number and your last number and then any feedback you have about what that session was like for you. I'm very curious. Those of you in Australia, we finished right on 111. Is that seven to one to zero, Carol? I hope it didn't go up. Seven to zero, Cara eight to zero. Michelle, that was intense, nine to two. Evelina, zero. Where'd you start, Evelina? Lulu, six, four, zero. Sarah, six to a quarter, six to point two five. My mind is still coming back. Christine, nine to four. Nice. Nice, Ali, eight to one. Carrie, eight, five, two, seven to zero. I feel so relaxed. Nice, Molly, three to one. So, guys, beautiful. Seven, five, two, eight to two. I feel the shift very relaxed. Guys, how cool is this work, eh? How cool is this work? Number one, there's hundreds of you on here. I get to help all of you at once. Number two, it's transformative. But number three, we're not just doing work for doing work's sake. It's all about towards an action. Does this make sense? The key's action. See, all we're doing is clearing resistance to what you've got to go for. True? I love you guys. So now what we want to do to finish off, um, absolutely, we'll send you. If you've just jumped on and you've met, you missed the recode, uh, you'll get another chance. Just, just uh, we'll send you another text next week. Um, we also have um, this recorded as well. No worries. No worries. So you're so welcome. Thank you for typing in the chat box. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the choice. Okay, so this is the last part of our process. Okay, so you're nearly there. So we're going to step into the choice. Are you ready? So close your eyes with me and just relax. Put down your phone or your computer. And I want you just to choose in your mind. Say, I choose this. I choose to have this. Whatever it is, financial abundance, more energy. I choose it. I am the predominant creative force in my life and I choose it and choose it with your whole energy and ask yourself, how does it feel now that I am this? How does it feel that I am now the seed? You can't see it yet, but I am this. The seed is already the tree and you're already this as soon as you're emotionally it. So choose it and ask yourself, how good does it feel? How good does it feel?
Mm, how good does it feel? Oh, I feel so good to feel you guys in there. So what action are you going to take towards this new goal? What action are you going to take because the universe responds to action? Boom. Oh man, I, I, I've already sworn once on this call, my wife doesn't let me swear more than that, but that was effing awesome. She tells me off, she says, have more flexibility, but that was just, that was freaking awesome. That was awesome. How is everybody feeling? Yeah, Michelle did it for me. Life changing. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I appreciate every single one of you being here. So if this was your first session, welcome. Uh, we do, we have a program. Hey, by the way, can I, is it all right if I just spend 10 minutes uh, talking about how you can have one of these a week and join our masterclass. If you're not interested in hearing, um, I love you and you don't have to stay in here. I'm going to talk about um, the program and people can buy it. If you've already bought it, you don't have to stay around either. Uh, totally, totally with love. Those who want to hear about the course, um, type a yes in and you can stay and hear about it. And, uh, Oh, I love it, Kate. And uh, and if you don't, that's I, it's just love. It's all love. And maybe you just wanted to have one session, try it, or, or whatever. Whatever the case may be, is is totally totally fine. So if it's all right with you guys, I think I've done the done the session that I promised. I told you about that, and so now it's it's inviting you to come and join us uh, at the the next level. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Molly. I'll, I'll send it across to to you for sure. So. Uh, it's glitching for you, Cara. Is this glitching for anyone else or is it totally fine? Can everyone else hear me okay? Thanks, Kate. Appreciate you guys. It's fine there. Cool. Yeah, they are really good. Thanks, Kate. They are. They're really good. We've got an amazing program, an amazing course. So, so look, and um, it's, it's, really, it's really cool. So let me, let me take you guys through it um, and then I will offer you two to buy it. Uh, and, and some of you will take it and that will be, that'll be really cool. And, and I'd really love to serve you even more. And, uh, it's just, it's all love here is what I just want to make sure everyone knows. Uh, it's, it's all love. So thanks Cara. So, so uh, I want to introduce you to the magnetic mind, uh, mastermind. It's a 12 month journey for anyone wanting to magnetically create, um, their future. So what we do is we help you create your vision and break it down. And then every week, we're moving you towards it like we just did, okay? Uh, there's, there's lots and lots of stuff in there. Uh, we unplug from the old identity and we reinforce through daily neuro-emotional program. And of course, the last is action. Okay, so here's what you're gonna get. There's an online university, a two-day live experience, and then weekly coaching. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, we have a time for you to join us live. So the university is for anyone wanting to magnetically create their future. And then we do a two day live experience. It's going to be in San Diego for those of you who are in the United States and it's in the Gold Coast here in Australia. We're going to do them multiple times a year. They are all recorded. And uh, when you're in the masterclass, you have access to it. We do five big transformation sessions a day. It's awesome and you'll leave a new you. So you get weekly coaching, okay? We do two sessions a week, every week, but you can turn up to one or two. In fact, we've added two extra ones, so we now have four. We go through a core program, okay? And by the way, who's really interested in joining us for 12 months to really master this? Who's really interested? Thanks, Cara, thanks, Michelle, awesome. So th these are some of the things we learn is practical alchemy and, and changing your perceptions and getting into emotional alignment. We also go into how to get rid of negative emotions or the quantum model of manifesting. Uh, we look at family entanglements and the matrix. And, and really, it works for everybody who's willing to do it. 
You know, if you're willing to take yourself on, and, and here's the question, are you willing to overcome who you've been to serve who you're becoming? Are you willing? Because it just takes a willing mind that says, I'm ready to let go of my limits. So are you willing? A lot of people say, hey, Chris, I'm not. I'm not willing. And, and that's, that's sad. It's sad because your identity is what blocks you the most. Your identity is what blocks you the most. Okay, so here's the value. 12 months access to the university is worth 3,000. In fact, you get a full downloadable access to it. Uh, it's huge. I'm going to show you guys it in a second. There's a huge amount in there, years of years of trainings. There's two weekly recode sessions with a trainer every single week. It's worth over 10,000 for the year and two day live experience. I do that four times a year in your country. So you can definitely come and see me. Who would like to come and see me by the way? And we'll spend a couple of days together. Uh, Cara's got her hand up, Michelle does. So look, if you weren't on this recording, if you went to my website, the, the normal price is 4995. And, and I think that's a really fair price. Uh, you know, for 12 months, you get to come to four two day events, two sessions a week at this level. I mean, I don't know who thinks that's a fair price, by the way, because because I do. I think it's very, very fair. Now, I'm not going to ask you for that today. I've got a huge discount um, and I've got some bonuses. So that the first bonus, I've created 30 transformational meditations. They are under 20 minutes each and fast, um, really fast. And so they currently sell for uh, $2,000. Today, they're free, okay? So that's, that's on average. I normally sell them for, for $2,000. And so they're, they're, you know, they're about 90 bucks each, uh, give, or, give or take. So for me, these meditations are, are so, 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 so crucial that every day you're reconditioning your mind. Here, here's some of them. Magnetic alignment, the negative belief flip, inner power, really get past procrastination, quantum jumping, shifting timelines, dissolving parts, total abundance, authentic confidence in, in, in a fire. We have over 35 now. You're also gonna get something something big. Uh, Sylvia, I'm not sure um, what, what you're in, I'm sorry. Uh, there's, there's over 100, 100 people in here. Uh, so weekly planning and, and productivity session. Okay, we do a call every single Monday. Um, plus, we give you the last 12 months of recode sessions. Guys, what if I told you the session I just did uh, without the story at the front, I've got over 50 one-hour sessions on every aspect of creation. You can get them instantly. Who thinks that's pretty cool, by the way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, so here's what you're going to get. 12-month access to the university, uh, 12 months of weekly recode sessions, a two-day experience with me. Uh, it's not for everyone, by the way. It's for those that just want to go big. Uh, you get 30 transformational sessions, a peak productivity session, and 12 months of recode. So the normal price is $4995. Uh, but I've got a massive, massive special for you today. So let me just ask you uh, a quick question. Um, who would, who would take this, uh, if money was no object, who would just take it because they want it, they want to go for it. Awesome. Money was no object because I want to make it really easy, really easy. So today you save $3,000. Uh, that's right. A huge amount. It's one nine nine five for the year or well, guys. And I want to just, I want you to feel this with my heart. It's only 49 bucks a week and you can have it all. You can have it all for just 49 bucks a week. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you, get, you get 12 month access to the Magnetic Mind University, which is worth three grand. You get two weekly recode sessions um, for the whole year. Uh, it's worth you know, basically 10 grand. You get to come to a two day life experience with me, um, whether it's in San Diego or Australia or wherever we're gonna add them next year once we get our plan together. Uh, you get to get some huge, huge bonuses today, guys. 30 transformational sessions, a weekly peak productivity session. Thora says, wow, Kara says, thank you. Guys, for the whole year, it's $2,000 or 1995. Just today on this call, 49 bucks a week. So I've sent you in uh, the link and, and I just wanna just, 
this is how I roll, guys. I'm just with, with total love. This is the best program, the best stuff uh, on the planet. Uh, you can come be a part of it. You get sessions every week that are this deep. And, and the question you've got to ask yourself is, 49 bucks a week, can I at least make that back? You know, can I at least make that back by, you know, manifesting something or overcoming a limit? Is it, is it worth 49 bucks a week to get a two-day course? I can come to as many times as I want to get meditations, uh, to, to get a group. Now, look, it is a little bit more expensive if you do the weekly option, right? I think 50 bucks a week comes out at about 2,500 a year. So if you can pay it in full, you know, I really urge you to because, you know, money, you know, it's good to save money if, if you can, you know, you're in for the year. Uh, so I'm very excited uh, to, to ask you all to come along to that. So I'm just going to show you uh, that I've sent you a link in your chat box. And the link takes you to this page. There's a little video of a very handsome man there uh, talking you through it. <laughs> yeah, my jokes don't get better. And so anyway, there's, there's me talking about it. You just put your details in here on the side. You take the special offer and you just choose here whether you want to do it in, in one uh, or 49 a week. And you just, do, you just choose whichever one you want. And that's it. There's nothing on the other page. Uh, and then, you know, when you, as soon as you're in, so I've sent you that link, as soon as you're in, uh, you will not go to my website. Uh, we'll have you in here in the, the Facebook community. Uh, we've got a call coming up uh, later today, um, or no, tomorrow for a lot of you in the United States. So Magnetic Mind, where is it? By the way, you can add me as a friend. This is my actual, my friend profile. Um, let me show you the group, uh, Magnetic Mind. Masterclass, here it is. Okay, so this is it here. Uh, there's 215 members in this group in the masterclass, so you'll be you'll be put in here, and you'll you'll see as soon as you join uh, that that I'm in here all the time. I was doing a session just last night. Um, there's Andrea talking about how good it was last night. Uh, there's Hannah, my head coach, in here, um, and there was my session from last night. Uh, I didn't realize I put a spelling error in there. <laughs> I've just realized, so that was, uh, that was last night's session here. So the recordings are all in there, uh, which is really, really cool. So I've sent you the link. Um, so let me just ask you, oh, okay, cool, Cara, no, no stress. How many of you are in? Just, just let me know if you're in, type in, I'm in. And, uh, and you know, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, good question. I, I can show you the, the university. Um, so there's a link, you can do it, we're in. Uh, it's a very huge special uh, today. You're so in, Michelle, beautiful. Who else is in? Type in I'm in so I can get, uh, I can get a bit of a feel with where everyone's at. Have you all been able to click on the link? You're in, beautiful, good stuff. So when you, when you get in, uh, here's the... Here's the full university. Oops, which one did I click on? I clicked on the certification. That's the certification. Um, here it is here. All right, so you get in here and you can download everything. So there's um, weekly meditations and training and here this is the 12 week process that you can go through um, that goes through there. Each one of these you click into. Uh, there's an hour training on how to go through these. There's meditations that go with it. Okay, so that's the weekly process. Uh, oops, let me go back one more. Then there's a bunch of training in here. So foundations, um, a business training, and then there's this huge meditation hub in here. Um, we've got all the recordings of the two-day live events in there as well. So uh, look, this is where all the meditations are. So they're all in here, money, belief. Emotional flood, double bubble, quantum jumping. Yeah, Cara, so this isn't the certification. This is just the masterclass. We have a certification. Uh, is there anyone else that's interested in actually being certified in this work? Uh, because we do have, if I go back. Um, yeah, so Izzy, uh, we have a full, a full certification to take people through. And, uh, and what I'm talking about today is included in this. So we always say to people, you know, um, oops, it's trying to make me purchase my own offer. Hey, I made this, Mr. Kajabi, where are you? 
Why can't, why am I not logged in? Why is it not letting me log in? So people are interested in the certification. Uh, if you want us to call you about it, we can. I don't think I, I must not be logged in on this computer. I'm on my laptop. So anyway, there's a full certification. It's six months to make it happen, um, which is good. So, so look, Hey, I, I'm finished um, with, with what I wanted to cover today. Uh, whether you're interested in the, the certification, uh, well, I love Calgary. It's a bit cold though. So I have to wait till maybe July. Um, whether you're interested in the certification or you're interested in the masterclass, uh, I urge you to get the masterclass. Um, when interested in and here's why. Uh, the certification is more expensive than the masterclass and it includes the masterclass. So I always say, look, jump in here because you will be, if you get certified, you'll actually be, de be delivering what we do in the masterclass. So it just makes sense to, to get in there, notice how we do the weekly sessions and everything else and, you know, you can't really go wrong with 49 bucks a week, hey? So, yeah, thanks, Wen. Has everyone got the link? Awesome. So there, there's a link. Look, I, I'm going to love you and leave you. I, uh, I just wanted to just say how much I appreciate you all being on, and I hope that I delivered everything that I said. And so give me a yes if you really felt like I delivered what I said. I told you I'd tell you the history. Uh, I told you that we'd have a, uh, a really nice session, and I think we did. And then I told you, we would, would help you go to the next, the next step if that's what you want to do as well. So uh, with love, I just want to let you know, whatever I say, I'll do. And uh, I can't wait to just take you on this ride of becoming completely magnetic. Uh, see you in the masterclass. See you at a two-day event. See you in the certification. And see you just living your dreams, doing what you love. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to share this work with you guys. And... Um, you know, I really, really want to say it's really good. And if you had a good session today, it's true. And we'll see you in there. So, so love yous. Have a great day. And uh, uh, Izzy just said, how much to bring a spouse to the class? Izzy, just, just bring him. You know, if you've got a husband or wife that wants to come, you know, Molly, same to you. Just, just bring him complimentary. No, no problems. Have them come. Yeah, if you've got a teenage kid that you want to come, just bring him. As long as you've paid, uh, that, that's totally fine. Love you. Just, just bring him. Let's change, let's change the world. Let's change our families. Let's change our lives. So, yeah. Uh, so, Michelle, they're all, they're all announced in the group. Yeah, there, there'll be multiple events coming out inside uh, the year. So, you'll be able to attend at least one of them. Uh, and so, there'll be no stress about that. Yeah. San Diego's very soon. I can't wait back. Can't wait to get back. I lived in Pacific Beach in La Jolla uh, a couple years ago, so I can't wait to get back over there. We're, we're probably going to do an Austin, Texas one at some point, but no promises. Uh, maybe even Houston, actually, as well. So, so we're looking at doing lots. My life's going to be about getting these events and this work out there. Uh, so anyway, uh, appreciate you guys. <laughs> Molly's like, please, Texas. It's, it's not that far, Molly. I promise you. It's two and a half hours from Texas to San Diego, you know, and it's... And, You'll be all right. <laughs> if I fly from Australia, you can fly from Texas. <laughs> all right, you guys are absolutely awesome. I'll see you in the group. Uh, click the link, pay the money, be in the program, change your life. Love you. Bye.